What's up, y'all? Sawtoo Dave here. We're gonna start the video off with a picture of the Sawtoo on the Lancelot leather valet tray, little skull tray. Post on Instagram. Says something like, uh, what do you guys wanna see from me? And I said, how about some more skulls? And he's like, just go to my website, they're already there. So I picked that up and a little key lanyard up. I don't know where the hell my keys are at, so can't show you that. But anyway, cool piece of leather. Let's spin it around so you can see a little better. Pretty cool, I dig it. Kind of fits my style. I didn't know if I'd do a valet tray thing or not, but I seem to be using it pretty good in here. So this is just kind of video, I guess more or less showing progress on a couple of knives. Um, got these off of Brandon Thrasher a while back. And uh, basically the, the couple reasons why I got these knives is to fix the problems he was talking about on them. And they're just basically, uh, uh, you know, engineering problems that were, I guess, fixed on this next model, but they weren't fixed on this one. So basically all the problems are this lock bar stabilizer I made. It used to have like a little screw thing that kind of twisted that kind of locks the frame or locks the lock bar in. It passed. It didn't, it blocked the path to the pocket clip. It just didn't work for it at all. And uh, it just, I don't know, bad engineering i mean they machined it well it was it was done well executed well it's just bad machining to start with uh, let me get if i can find the original clip yeah here we go okay so this is a replacement clip that was made and basically because the, the stock clip there's not i basically modeled it right after the stock clip so this is the stock clip and you can see design wise i i, I pretty much copied it no, i didn't pretty much i did copy it um the main reason i I'd had to change this one is because it was on the knife i'll basically show you here so when it was on the knife this back part in here is recessed into the scale is 100 thou so there wasn't enough space in here and i think i showed it in the last video there wasn't enough space to actually make the pocket clip work and then there's no flex to this pocket clip at all it's like hard to describe unless you can see it in person but there really isn't any flex so i made a new one so you see now it's got a decent gap underneath it and i made it thin enough now where you can actually you know get it in and out of stuff it, it flexes decent it's got a little ramp to it and uh you put a nice little corner around around the whole thing so it's not quite the same as the other one the other one kind of ramps up a little bit but it's nice and smooth all the way around it that's kind of the the goal i was going for it's nice and smooth and pretty much looking like it could have came stock that way right that's pretty much what i was going for the other little things are this little they had a like a pen that protruded here that you're supposed to be able to take out and put over here and it assists the lock bar and it really just didn't do anything for me i thought it was kind of hokey pokey whatever so basically i just turned two little pieces of, sorry i keep up with this phone i keep i turned two little pieces of titanium and just basically pressed them in these two little spots and sandblasted them before i stuck them in there and then try to blend it the best as possible so you know the some of the blend work ain't the best but that's how we learn we got to start somewhere right so i try to blend it you guys can kind of sort of see it it's just a little proud right there because i didn't really want to get into this frame too much you know and have to go back and try to finish it because this is like blasted and then stone washed and i really didn't want to have to stone wash the whole thing not knowing if like the laser etching would be affected by stone wash or something like that i could have taken it apart and put it in the tumbler but i thought this one came out all right um you know overall the whole thing kind of looks like it's stock now you can't really tell a huge difference between it and what if it was was or wasn't stock if you knew what the knife looked like before i think it came out pretty cool i'm pretty happy with this one overall you know pretty satisfied with the with the work and how everything came out and uh hopefully uh, it'll be uh working satisfactory at this point you know um this one i kind of copped out a little bit i ain't gonna lie i'm not really 100 percent satisfied with this one but this is the other one i got off of brandon and uh it's basically because the this is a detent ball here and it was the full detent and it went into a little hole and you can kind of sort of see that that little piece of titanium I made and put in there it basically just fills it and it's proud just a little bit but it's a tricky little piece to make because it's sitting on radius the whole thing's kind of sitting on radius oh, it's underneath that ball now and what I did instead of making a whole new pocket clip because I can't match this anno to match this stud and I thought about it and I thought about making a new clip and then blasting the other studs and making a new clip and I still might but I struggle with that because overall like the design just 
I don't know, this kind of flows to me a little better. So I kind of cop out a little bit. I guess you can call it cop out. And I didn't really make a new one. I just kind of modified this one. And let's put my hand behind it so you can see it. So there's still a decent gap in there, but you can see that's not quite parallel. It has a little bit of uprise to it, which I kind of don't like. But I had to leave enough room to get your jeans in through there. And so you can see the front of that, where I took that ball and I just ground that down. And I've never messed with ceramic before, even being a machinist. And that shit is freaking hard, man. I use a diamond wheel. I'm talking about industrial strength diamond that we grind carbide with to grind that bearing, that ball. That's so super hard. It's ridiculous. And then I just gave it a little bit of ramp so it actually can go, you know, you can, it'll flow in now. And it's a little more abrupt on the on the back side, as you can kind of sort of see right there with my finger in the back. Let's see if I can hold it sort of light where you can see it better. It's a little more abrupt in the back because I figured it's, you want it in smooth. Get it out, you can be a little bit rougher and kind of yank on it and get it out of there because it's not like a super deep carry. You'll have, you know, a decent amount of that knife to grab a hold of yank it out of your pocket at least that's how it's been working for me anyhow so for me with shorts light thin material i do kind of gotta you know raise it up a little bit stick it in my shorts or whatever else so it's still not exactly a one-handed pocket clip but it works now it actually it actually functions where the other one where it was sitting before just did not work at all it just i don't know brandon talked about his videos As a matter of fact go back and watch brandon's i suggest go sub to his channel anyhow the main reason these two are even here is basically to support his channel you know like you guys don't have paypal or what do you call not paypal uh what's the one there by support someone yeah whatever that shit's called patorian uh what is it patreon that's it sorry I keep stumbling here he, he don't have patreon and he ain't big enough to have the youtube channel support also that's how you support him doing shit like this right uh and uh basically you know I, i'm neither one of these were meant to be added to my collection they're they're you know done mods to move on to the next guy so the next guy gets him he can do what he wants to with it um i feel like i've successfully modified him made him work and uh i think that uh stasa was interested in checking out this one i don't know if he wants both of them or not but in this one so he's gonna go to pete ne or, yeah pete next and let him check that out and uh kind of move on from there but you know both those are open to go so you got trays or anything else like you know let me know we'll move them out they just in here today gone tomorrow kind of thing uh no big deal they were bought as a project so moving on from there basically um i guess i like to buy a nice more used than new so you know trays welcome whatever you want to do matter of fact while we're talking about it i'm just gonna move the camera for a second hopefully this won't be too bouncy for you guys pretty much all those are all the same way those are part of my semi-permanent collection. So if somebody wants some one of those, you know, trades welcome. Hit me up. We'll work out something. Um, pretty much ZTs and big burly knives is where my, my goals are now. And speaking of which, we got a next project kind of thing. Let me slide this out of the way and slide some projects in here so you guys can see some more stuff. Um, so, you know, I've been doing pocket clips. So I started with that DSK one. Um, I've done a few now. Here's the Medford one. Uh, I had a guy ask me basically what I do in order to come up with a pocket clip and pocket clip design, how I machined it, all the other things. So I'm just going to basically show you the quick process and we'll just discuss it briefly. This is the stock pocket clip that came on the infraction. Uh, you guys haven't seen it. It's pretty small. Kind of don't fit the knife to me and never, never was comfortable enough. Not really enough space underneath it. You can kind of see that the space was. I'm just going to hold it up against the DSK, but... You see there's not a lot of room in there for getting jeans or whatever else in there and it just wasn't a good pocket clip so how did i come up with the idea of getting this so i started with just a piece of paper so i literally just sat down with a piece of paper started drawing i didn't know what i was going to do so i just kind of made something broad like this okay i cut this exact shape out of aluminum and basically after i did and this is the shape after i did i just started machining stuff around it grinding it down by hand until i found something i liked and this is actually the second one it was just kind of sort of mimicking this. But if you see on this one, it looks a little bit on the uh, limp dick side, I guess, of things. And so we kind of took the curve out of it a little bit, made it a little differently. And then the final product is this out of titanium. And with it, obviously the MKT engraved in it. So I don't know if you see that or not. But it's basically two, two steps on the side all the way around it to kind of make it look match some of the knife. But anyway, that's basically without going through all the process of action machine. And that's basically how the process worked for how I prototyped 
you know, off the original and then made the new one into that. And I got one of these left, so anybody's got a uh, infraction needs a clip. I got one left. I ain't making no more. That's it. <clears throat> so we were talking about trades a minute ago. I got a guy hit me up, or actually I hit him up off of uh, Reddit, and he got some ZTs to trade. I offered this in, in trade, and uh, he said, yeah, basically he'd go for the, the trade that we talked about. Uh, but he wants me to make a new pocket clip. So this is my new challenge. This is a spider code magnitude, if you don't know. And the, the guy didn't like it because the clip was too long for him. And he, I think he likes deep carry. Um, so now the challenge on this is to make a milled deep carry pocket clip for the magnitude. Eh, that's going to be a hell of a challenge because I don't even know where to start, to be honest with you. But I'm kind of up for the challenge. I kind of think it's a cool idea. Cool little challenge. This is a cool little knife. Uh, everything works out. It'll get traded. Uh... As I mentioned before, I'm kind of ZT fanboy, so anything to get some more ZTs. I'm all about the ZTs here lately. Don't even know why, because I really don't even carry them that often, but I just like them. I don't know why. There's something about the ZTs. I always feel good. Uh, so the magnitude will be going next uh, on the design block for the new pocket clip. Um, been doing some other trading, so you guys are going to see some new knives coming through if you follow me on Instagram. Some projects, some just because I want it. Anyway, this is a quick one on Sunday night. Just wanted to drop this real quick. You know, it seems to be my MO. The only time I get time to do a video is Sunday evening when everybody else is about done, ready to go to sleep. So we'll see how many people watch this one. Because all of the two or three, four people that watch this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got one more thing. Hold up. Hold up. So if you made it this far, the last video I talked I, I talked to about a dude who asked me about a tactical knife for a buddy that had been 30 years plus in the service was retired he wanted to get him a knife for christmas he wanted an american made tactical knife now he told me last time that i he, he commented he wanted it under 200 dollars or at 200 dollars or below you guys got suggestions drop them in the comments 200 dollars below american made tactical knife all right then holla y'all